We're training three versions, you know, an 8 billion and a 70 billion, which we're releasing today, and a 405 billion dense model, um, which is still training. I think it's fair to say that a lot of the hype around Llama 370B has kind of faded. Sure, we have better ideas of how to improve performance. We have some better ideas of how to fine tune it to eke out just a little bit more capability. But what we're really waiting for is Llama 3 400B or 405B. When Zuck initially announced this, we knew that it was still being completed and we've seen it show up in benchmarks for other models. Like for instance, Cloud Sonnet 3.5 specifically claims to be the current beta version of Llama 3 400B, but we still don't know exactly what this model will look like. And for a little while, we didn't even know if we were going to get the weights, but Jan LeCun fortunately has reiterated that they are actually going to be releasing the weights sometime soon. The most recent kind of hint about this prior to what we got this Sunday, which I'll get into in just a bit, was Grok telling us that yes, they're working on it and they're making some changes in their systems to make this actually work. And this was all the way back on May 7th. But this Sunday, we got a really interesting update from the wildest place I would ever expect, at least coming from the meta universe of software companies they've purchased and made part of meta. So basically what happened is someone logged into their Android device and opened up WhatsApp and then realized that it was actually prompting if they wanted to try Llama 3 405B as a preview as opposed to using Llama 370B as a default where you have kind of an AI chat interface in WhatsApp. And no one really knew if this was a mistake, like if this was a junior engineer on an internship who accidentally ham-fisted releasing this to the public. And it looks like this is actually real. No one has actually interacted with it yet. In theory, even if this was true, it would just mean that for the first few prompts, you'd be able to interact with Llama 3 or 405B, and then it would go right back to Llama 370B. But what's cool is it means that in theory, this model is in the wild right now, it's actually usable and probably is done being trained since they actually said yes, that it's Llama 3 405B, not 408B or just 400B plus. And last night we really weren't sure what this is, but there are a few different places where this has been confirmed. For instance, we know that if you're on Android 2.24.14.7, then you're probably gonna see this. And there's actually an entire Twitter account that just follows WhatsApp beta releases. And they've also, in theory, kind of confirmed this. And what's interesting is they actually track the releases from Meta. And what's interesting is Meta themselves actually named and tagged this update or this beta update with Meta Llama model. It's still under development. And basically what they're calling this is, yes, it is a feature that brings the ability to choose the Meta AI Llama model to use in future updates of the app, which is pretty cool. So I don't own an Android device, but I've had a number of friends with Android devices who have seen this. So I don't think it was something that was just rolled out to a limited number of users. And at this point, we know that it's definitely not fake. So the question is, how soon could we see this model? We might actually see a announcement later today. I'm thinking probably this week. There are a number of other people, um, Gary Tan especially, who thinks we're probably gonna see something this week. And I think one of the juiciest things that I've seen in terms of hints about this model actually showed up on Reddit about a week and a half ago. And what this is, is this is actually um, derived from a tweet of one of the developers working on Llama 3 400B. And they did kind of a breakdown of how much it would cost or what hardware you would need to run this model locally. Because obviously, if this is the biggest Llama we've ever seen, the biggest question I have, and I think most of you would have, is what you would need to actually run it. Because even if the weights are released, what does it matter if you have to spend like $80 an hour on a 6x8 H100 server to even run it, right? Even then, you would even need a machine that easily that big to quantize it down so that, you know, the GPU poor of us could even run it on like a number of 4090s locally. So what does this engineer actually recommend? So at a high level, he basically says that you need a 12 channel AMD server board. And one thing that's interesting is I've been talking to someone who works on uh, George Hotz's tiny box and I found what motherboard they use. Now, this is a 12 channel AMD Epic motherboard, but the issue is they're not actually commercially available to consumers, but I know what it is and I'll link below and maybe make a future video about this where I actually kind of spec out a machine like this. So what they recommend is uh, a one socket system, basically $800 CPU, so make probably like an AMD Epic 7551P, around $1,100 in memory, uh, and then the chassis would be around $2,100. 
for a two socket motherboard, which basically just gives you more PCI Express, that would be around a thousand dollar CPU, even more memory. Again, just using all of those uh, lanes of memory. And what's crazy is even with all this money, it says you can only expect to get one to two tokens per second with this setup. And I wanna show you the raw tweet and I'll link this below, but it's really pretty interesting. And this guy puts together an entire thread and actually uses a clever mix of consumer and enterprise hardware. And to be clear, the prices I was just talking about was just for the machine that would accept the GPUs. So you would still basically need like $20,000 worth of RTX 4090s or 3090s. Um, so I, I, basically there's very few ways you can actually get like 16 4090s into a single system. The hardware for that basically doesn't exist. You'd be probably looking at more so like an A100 or an H100 and getting at least four or five of those. And that's going to run you easily, you know, forty to fifty thousand dollars, even if you can find them from like an AI company that went out of business, which I've helped people do before, but it's still very expensive, and you have to get lucky. So I'll link to this below. I think it was cool that we got this on like June twenty first, so quite a while ago. And I do want to do a video on kind of my ideal local system that I actually may have found an incredible sponsor to help me build. Because as, much, as easy as it is, as much as I love to be able to just like SSH into a massive system that's already set up, uh, there is a part of me in having half of an electrical engineering degree that loves having the hardware local and um, using the power um, at my startup as a really great excuse to have some compute in the office that I can use for whatever I want. But yeah, so do you guys think we're going to see Llama 3405B released today or this week? Are you excited to run it locally? Do you think none of us will actually be able to afford to run it locally? Share what your local AI system is. I have a really great video coming out talking about Gemma 9B being fantastic for lower end local AI setups. Let me know if you wanna see that. Um, so yeah, as always, I hope you learned something from this video. If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next one.